Jeff, we're here at C2E2, and I'm here with the snowman, Al Snow. How's it yeah. going, Al? Fantastic. Doing Very excited to be here with you. All right. You know, man about man, man about town. You know your way around the ladies, right? Uh, not as much as I'd like, but you know what? I'm trying. Any, any tips for me? Yeah, get a panel van, a bottle of chloroform, roll of duct tape. It's date night. Uh, good stuff. I'm going to remember that one. Make carpe diem on the side of the van. Car carpe diem, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to note that one. Okay. Hey, you're here, you're here with Head today. Yes, I am. Hey, is the FBI still looking for you? The FBI? Uh, not sure about that. I haven't, I haven't checked the internet lately. That's okay. good. Are you here on a job, though? Mm, am I here on a job? Yeah. You know with the job squad? Uh, no. No, he's not on a job? Darn. No. I'm asking the questions, okay? Slow down, okay. kid. Okay. Al Snow's asking the questions now, okay. Okay, go ahead. All right. So, uh, you're joining the con. What, what, have you up, what have you been up to lately? I mean, uh, I've been doing magic for the blind. Uh, it's a great way to give back to the community. Um, i got to say ta-da a lot, or they don't know anything happened. I'd do the act for you, but I'm sure you wouldn't appreciate it. I mean, because you can see, you know. No. Well. They love card tricks. <laughs> it's just, you know, is this your card? Uh, I don't know. It is. Ta-da. Now, now, are you still doing stuff with Steve Blackman, or is uh, he uh, split no, too? I, I don't know where Steve's at. He's probably somewhere in Afghanistan or, you know, Pakistan, somewhere on a mission to kill somebody somewhere. Uh, probably even in Pennsylvania. God, Lord only knows. Well. So. Oh, yeah. Well, you were the one that gave him the nickname Head Cheese, right? Yes, and uh, Mr. Personality and Captain Charisma, and uh, which Christian stole. Damn Christian. That CLB, man. He stole a dang name. What a bastard. Yeah. But is it true that you were doing security for TNA, for Impact uh, Wrestling? No security, no. I work as a producer or agent for TNA. Uh, but, you know, uh, Pat Kinney and I are kind of like the Batman and Robin of TNA. We will run out and stop a fight. Wh uh, wh which one is Batman and which one's Robin? Uh, I'm Batman, you know. And Pat okay. Kinney's more like Throbin than Robin. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, you're enjoying that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I like it. It's it's good. And, you know, pays the bills and uh, helps support the Magic Act, you know. All right. So I mean, uh, beautiful assistants don't come easy. I mean, you you yourself even admitted, you know, it's not like you know that your way that well around yeah. a woman. So yeah, agree, agreed. Probably the last time you've been inside a woman is when you went to the Statue of Liberty, right? Yeah, hey, yeah, sure. Why not? Never been in New York, but yeah, hey. But hey, why not? Why not? So you're with TNA. What what would you say is the main difference between TNA and WWE? Uh, the really the main difference is just WWE is an iconic brand that's been around for literally decades. Uh, TNA is an upstart company that's just that's only been around for basically just about one decade, you know, about ten, a little over ten years. So, you know, given time and uh, you know, see continued progress and growth. Uh, much younger talent base. Um, uh, I think TNA eventually will become competitive with WWE. Okay. okay. Now, but is there any chance that you? will start wrestling again in TNA or is that out of the question Are you fully retired well it's never out of the question I think I'm more semi retarded than I am retired um, and I don't you know you never know I'm kind of like a bad pity I'll keep showing up so. Oh well, hey that's good to know yeah. keep, keep on watching you might see the snowman you never know and, you know and you know keep an eye out on America's most wanted you'll probably see me there before you will in TNA yeah. We'll keep our we'll keep our fingers crossed yeah now uh, how's head doing head's awesome Head's awesome yeah do you get much better than head. Do you get head? Uh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Nah. No, yeah, probably not. Nah, you're too young. Not that good enough yet. Uh, well, you know, just good head's hard to find when you do. You know, keep it. You know, that's why we've been together for quite some time. We travel a lot. I know they complain and about you know me buy, not buying them an airplane ticket, but they're not going to sit in the seat when they can fit in the overhead bin. And I know that they worry about the cancer scare by going through the X-ray machine every time at the security at the airport, but I don't care. Hair hasn't fallen out yet, so why do I need to worry? Yes, yeah, screw the risks. Yeah. Why not? Live life dangerous. Saving yourself some money, not in this economy. You know it. You yeah, got to do definitely. what you got to do. You know how it is. Yep. Right. Yeah. So, uh, how often do you talk to Head? All the time. All I mean, time? it would be kind of rude not to talk to somebody if they talk to you, correct? Yeah, that's true. Fair enough. Do I have, have uh, people ever thought you were sane? I mean, some people sane? see. Yeah, people see think you're crazy, but do some people think you're sane because you talk to Head? Lots of people, I'm sure can understand and relate to my sense of reality. Just because I see things or hear things that you may not see or hear doesn't mean that I'm insane. I mean, you believe in God, correct? Yeah. Okay, do you talk to God? Of course. Well, I don't hear him talk to you. Yeah. Uh, you might be crazy. Yeah, well, I hear voices in my head, but hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. 
That's from your injuries. Ah, yeah, true. And, too many injuries. You know, most places that I go doing these appearances, they have a security guard that has a tranquilizer gun ready to shoot me with a dart if I happen to get out of hand. What, what kind of tranquilizer? I don't know, but it's good enough that if I wanted to, I could just jump at you right now. It hit me in the rear end, and I'd drop and slobber. And sometimes I do it just for the fun of the tranquilizer dart. Great. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well. You know what? I'm going to leave you to your uh, your ways. Okay. Insane ways. Sure. I would like to thank you very much. No, thank you. This will be a moment that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. I'm sure that years from now, when I'm in a nursing home strapped to a chair so I can't molest the nurses and I'm sucking cream corn through a straw, I can regale my grandchildren of this time that you and I have spent together. You know, that's very, you know, it's I'm going to, yeah, it's touching. It's touching. I, I'm going to keep that very I'm close to my heart. You, you should. You, you know what? Keep it there. Yeah. It, 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 any other place, it might grow mold or something. Yeah. You know, and then when I finally get head, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember this. Oh, you will. I'm gonna remember this. Uh, you might not be thinking about this. Oh, especially when you get head. Yeah, probably not. But again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys.